Do, so is it just uh, ghee or do you put herbs in it? Yeah, so this is for this cooking, I'm using plain ghee. Mm -hmm. But for medicinal purpose, I do the herbal ghee. Mm -hmm. And also I cook sometime with the herbal ghee. Okay. Okay. So now this is uh, this, so you don't have to worry. <laughs> Oh no, I'm not worried. I just thought that this was really cool. Yes, yeah, 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 yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yes. Okay. Okay, so I was now, a little worried. So we are going <laughs> to make the moong, 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 sprouted moons today. Okay. So here we have sprouted moons, onion, <coughs> green chili, curry leaves, ajwain leaves, and garlic leaves. Garlic, yes. fresh garlic. So we are going to use all of this in one dish. That's a moon, sprouted moons. Okay. So this is a very powerful, super, super food. But now I believe this this is going to be hot. So we that handle better. this yeah. very hot. Yeah. yeah. So now let's. Oh, cook actually, it. that's smart because this, <coughs> this will not get hot. Yes. Yeah. So now you take a half teaspoon, uh, tablespoon of the ghee from the container. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good. Uh, yeah. It's a little that's too much. Yeah, too much. But uh, you can just put it. That's fine. Ghee is always good to go. That's good. A tablespoon of ghee, perfect. Put it in. Now, as you have to remember the temperature, oh, it's so very let hot. it cool. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. And now, as this this is the middle gas, so it's very heavy, mm. um, too much heat. So it's good to cook on the medium heat. Okay. okay? So. Get that blue one for me, that uh, piece, blue piece, yeah, for you to hold it. No. Don't worry. Sorry. No, no, no. Come. So now this is, yeah. So now the um, the if you see the warmth, yes. this is nice and warm. So put the mustard seed. So one teaspoon of the mustard seed. Describe here. it. Yeah. So this is a mustard seed. This is yes. a cumin seed. Yes. This is a mustard seed. So yes. Take the These mustard seed. These are gonna seed. pop, aren't they? <coughs> okay. They will pop. Yeah. So one teaspoon. Ready? Yes. And if you're not confident, reduce the heat. It's okay. So a little more. One teaspoon. Perfect. Nice. Now, one one squeeze of the asafoetida. Oh, this Bring is the, the asafoetida. Okay. Yeah. One one squeeze. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay, that's good enough. Now, wow, then, you buy it like this. I've never no, seen this I, I refilled it with the Indian oh. asap oh, okay. <laughs> So, get the green chilies and put it in. Okay. So, the sequencing, let the green chilies and garlic go together. Okay. Yeah, and garlic. And what, yeah, okay. Okay. watch out for the yeah, covering of the seeds, you know. It's really uh, popping. Yeah. Always make sure when you're not confident, reduce the heat. So, and then okay. once you are done, you will uh, bring the heat up. Okay. Mm -hmm. You saute it. Okay. okay. Now, put this uh, curry leaves and ajwain leaves into it. Now, it will sputter more. Yeah, because they have water. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's stuck to my fingers. Yeah, because you had a garlic juice. Garlic juice. Yeah. <laughs> garlic juice is there on your fingers. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sauteed yeah. cheese. Nice. Perfect. Mm. You'll see more now. Yeah. <laughs> Got a very interesting smell. Mm -hmm. How simple it is. Now look at the color of the garlic. This is the perfect temperature, perfect sauteing, oh. and nice caramelization. So let the onion go in now. Okay. Did you want me to split it first? Yeah, whatever. It's, it's fine. Anyway, we have to cook it, so the time will okay. be same. Okay. You can play inside the pot. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Okay.
है तो कुकिंग इज ऑलवेज ऑन द मीडियम हीट एंड द लो हीट इज ऑफ Now let uh, I will hold this. You go and <coughs> get the turmeric. Turmeric? Yes. Okay. <coughs> nice turmeric. Two teaspoons. So there is a reason why we are putting turmeric here. A little more. So when you say what can I eat for my breakfast? Yeah. This is it's, it's a powerful breakfast for you. Okay, mm. let me turn the the pan. So turmeric has to always go with the two things. Okay. So add one half teaspoon of the black pepper. I read that somehow the black pepper helps with the medicinal properties of the yes, yes, yes. So add the uh, half yeah. spoon. There you go. So half teaspoon of the uh, black pepper along with the chamber. That's it. Perfect. Alright. Now mix it well. Imagine you are cooking for your wife and you for a day or two. I basically know two days cooking, but we are in America. I can always remember what is more convenient <coughs> and healthy and powerful. Okay, I like to cook. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. I enjoy Because it. Because your strokes are good. No, oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I, we used to cook a lot at home. Mm. And then when my son went to college, we stopped cooking as much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, too much work addiction, you know, so you get home late in the day. I know. That and is you don't right. feel like cooking. But I realized lately, why not come home and cook? It's so nice, you know, to be in the kitchen talk, make something, it's better than going out to eat, you know? And I just don't feel good sometimes when mm -hmm. I eat. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So this is like, uh, if you do this much also, this is good enough to eat, okay? Because okay. <laughs> for breakfast, which is nice and warm, because it's uh, soaked in the hot water. Do you remember when we made the sprout? The process of the sprout? Yes. So they're already cooked. Like oh, so they're already cooked. They they're already, cook yeah. So, so if you see this, you can break it very easily. Mm. Now when you're eating it, it will be more chewing job for you. So you can see how much you want to keep it. The hardness. Oh. Okay. So if I want it less hard, I, I like, just cook it so, longer. So if I'm eating in the afternoon snack, I will keep it as a little bit raw. Okay. But if I'm eating with the chapati or bread or naan or uh, that uh, pancakes what we you had in the morning then I will make it more squishy mm. so I will add water so this is a good enough snack for yourself so I add the salt salt here so this is like a meal exactly can, right? that's yeah. what I was trying to tell you yeah. so I'm going to give this to you for a meal then because food doesn't know whether it is a breakfast tomorrow food at right. tomorrow this right. item okay 
So you need a table, uh, at least a tablespoon of uh, or salt here. Okay. Because we are going to put some um, uh, water into it. One more. So we will be, yes. Right? Okay, that's Perfect. good. And if we need more salt, we can always add later on, yeah. okay? So I'm going to put a, um, like a bowl of salt. Maybe just the, almost enough to cover up the, uh, this, okay? And look at it. So this water is also not going to go be enough. So if you want to eat with the rice, make it more gravy kind of thing. Mm. This is good enough to cook and eat as a snack, as a dinner. You can add that thing what you just ate. I mix this and that on top of it. Oh, really? And then I eat it. Mm. Because oh, that's wow. a carbohydrate. This is a protein. Mm. So you let it go together. Carb and protein, carb and protein, carb and protein. Okay. Right? And all the herbal medicinal things are here. So I will, then I can do one more thing variation. I will make, make it more liquid like for the rice. Then I will put that and I will take a chapati or I will get the bread and I will eat it as a vegetable. Okay. So play with your food. Okay. Whatever way you like to add it. So now. So less water and eat it with the chapati yes. or some kind of flatbread. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now add a little bit of jaggery, a tablespoon of jaggery from okay. there. Bins, bins. Um, again, we do not want the acidic nature, uh, the gassy nature of the bins. So the way we are mixing up the food. Is very important. Yeah. It's okay. Yep, yeah, perfect. So yeah, just... uh, do it with the finger, if not yeah, yeah. yeah, like that. Perfect because it's sticky. Yeah. Yeah. And the spoon, wet things, wet spoon cannot go in the fungus. Yeah, okay. It will make the fungus. <laughs> okay. Perfect. That's it. All right. So let's make this it well. You want to wash the hand? No. Uh, sure. yes. Yeah, wash it. Yeah. Yes, because jaggery is sticky. What I use to do that? See? Your blue thing? Yeah. And I will cover this with the lid. Wow, look at your lid. Now you want to just see whether that is nicely cooked. Your previous dish. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. It's breaking easily. Perfect. Okay, so this is ready for you to eat. Okay. And then you can decorate it with parsley or coriander okay hold this okay. i will get some coriander so that you can see okay. <clears throat> wow it's cooking all right okay so this is how you should decorate it and you can also let it go here so you can use as much coriander as much as much as you want. So okay. I'm just adding some chopped here because I like the aroma of the herbs. Okay. And then you can also decorate it later on. Okay. Wow, oh, that smells really good. Let's see whether it is cooked a little bit, okay? So I'm going to press it. It's hot. Yeah. Okay. So see. See, it's going through. See, so it is nice. So everybody has a different um, way of how much cooked they like the food to be cooked. Yeah. So some I like crunching the food. Mm. I like chewing them mm. because your whole digestion. Um, uh, so uh, so when you are eating the food, yes. you have to chew at least thirty-two times one bite. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, ayurvedically, all the uh, like there is a lot of saliva enzymes oh, and right. uh, if you want to see it, the, uh, the properties of the agni mm. one of the pitta so all that when you consider they are going to be here so when you are achieving the food mm. as much as you can in the mouth your 40 30 40 percent of the digestion is going to happen in the mouth wow. 
but when you are doing the liquid part or smoothie part or juicing part, you are going to mess up the yes, whole forty percent of the digestion, right? So that that's the sense. reason. See? Now another thing, you can do the same thing here. You can add a little bit of peanut powder, cashew powder. I know what I was thinking. Of. <coughs> pumpkin poha. powder. Poha. Poha. Yes, that's not poha. That is when you are eating. Oh. You don't have to cook. Oh. Okay. Look at. But to make it more thicker and richer. Yeah. That you can add. Oh. Okay. okay. So here, as if everything is here, <coughs> once it is closed, so if you want to eat this with the rice, you make it more watery. Yes. Or you can add a tomato puree here. Okay. Yeah, or maybe a two to three tablespoon of <coughs> powders of the nuts here. Mm. Or I do what I do in my own home all the time that I make all these lentil powders. So this mm. is all combination of the lentil powders. So I take different lentils, I saute them, and mm. I make them uh, saute very well. Really? Let it, let it cool, mm. and then I blend it in the blender, and I make a powder. Okay. So now to get the gravy. So this is protein, this is protein. How much okay. protein? This is full protein. Yes. Right. So what I will do, I will add a teaspoon, <coughs> two tablespoons of this. Okay. So this is lentil powder, right? So okay. No, no harm. You no. made that. You just yes. sauteed lentils. Yes. Is that were soaked? It. Soaked lentils or hard dry lentils. lentils? Dry lentils. Dry lentils, you yes. saute them and then you powder them. Yeah. So wow. now it will give the thick, thick, this thing? thick consistency. Yes. Wow, that thing is yes. strong. Yes. See? It will give the thickness to the food. Okay. But there is no gluten, there is nothing like people are worried about it. All is very powerful, very medicinal, very simple, very nutritious, very, very fresh, light, yeah, yeah. very fresh, with a lot of your love. <laughs> and with a lot of herbs and a lot of this. See? Yeah. So this is your one of the dish. This is called it as a sprouted beans, moon beans. Okay. Turn it over. If you want more mushy, you do more mushy. If you want this consistency with the chapati or bread, maybe you can put uh, once it is cooled off. This one, maybe take it in the plate, let it cool off. Blend it in the blender and make a thick paste and make a hummus out of it. Oh. And you can put it on the chapati. On your bread. That on sounds your chapati, delicious. Yeah. On your tortillas. On your whatever the crackers, chips. Like, you know, whatever yeah, the way yeah, we yeah. live or eat the food. Okay. You can add it on that one. Okay. Um, <coughs> do you not eat any yeasted breads, like leavened bread? You don't eat them? Mm -mm. Oh, okay, interesting. I make the roti. That's why it is always here. So this mm. is the all making the rotis. So this is a roti. Oh. So I, it's fresh, homemade, no yeast, no fermentation mm. in that one. Because it is... Yeast is not a really good option because it's it creates a lot of challenge to the colon. Really? Yeah. Nice, okay. Okay. So no any yeast. questions about this? No, no. <coughs> Plus you can you're going to the video, right? Yes. You can add a, a, a fistful of grated coconut, you oh, can add yeah. a fistful of coriander, parsley, more ajwine leaves if you want it. This is a ajwine, okay? So this is the ajwine seeds, you know. Yeah, I have and that a is the ton of those at home. Leaf. Okay. Okay. Have you seen the black ajwine? No. Huh? No. Don't use that? No. Okay. So this is ajwine. Mm. This is the, your dish. Okay. So you're done with one gravy vegetable, one vegetable, Yeah. one lentil. One lentil, right? perfect. So one protein, one fiber. Yes. One remain is the carb. Carb yes. is can be anything. Yes. Okay. All right, turn it off.